Hi there, welcome to another video of mine. In this video, we'll be focusing on the reasoning part in this unit. R1. I can explain to an educated reader mistakes when working with proportion. Question is as follows. D is inversely proportional to x. D equal 20 when x is equal to 10. Work out the value of D when x is equal to 5. We need to be able to clearly explain what the pupil has done wrong and why the pupil has made that mistake. So as per usual, whenever we face a reasoning problem, where appropriate, we try to implement the CICE strategy. It stands for correct, incorrect, compare and explain. So here's the question. D is inversely proportional to X. Having read the first sentence, the very first thing that I could do is express this mathematically. Keyword here, inversely, meaning that it needs to be one over something. So D is inversely proportional to X. Then we can replace the proportional symbol with equal K. Next step would equal as follows. This is my step one. Step two, we substitute the values given in the question into step one. So when D is equal to 20, K is the unknown we're trying to find over the value of x is 10. To find k, we need to multiply by 10 on both sides, gives k equal to 100. Step 2, substitution part. And then, one final step, we substitute k back into step 1. So finally, d would equal the value of k is 200 over x. This is step 3. Now, let's go back to the question to check if we have answered it. Look what it says. Work out the value of D when X is equal to 5. Here, we write when X equal 5. We now need to substitute this X in step 3 with 5. So, D equal 200 divided by 5 which is equal to 40. This is my correct answer. Once I've worked out the correct answer, in the incorrect section here, I would rewrite the incorrect answers there. As you can see, on the right hand side, underneath the incorrect column, I have rewritten exactly what the students have done. The students working out, I have copied it here. The final step is compare and explain. Now I'm going to compare the correct and the incorrect. So let's look at the very first thing. My correct version, this is what I've got, D is inversely proportional to X, is written as follows. The pupil, this is what they've got for the very first thing they've written. Now this is read as D is proportional to X, or D is directly proportional to X. If you go back to the question for a minute, it says D is inversely proportional. Keyword is inversely, meaning that the very first mistake that they have made is either they have not read the question properly or they're not, they did not fully understand the difference between direct and inverse proportion and how to express that first step mathematically. That's the very first mistake that they've made. Let's go through the working out and see if they've made another mistake. Here, they've put d equal kx, okay, then they substitute when d20, x is equal to 10. Now, here, to find the value of k, k multiplied by 10 here, so they needed to divide by 10 on both sides, which would have got k equal to 2. So, so far, this is the first mistake, m1 for the first mistake. And the second mistake here, they have not divided by 10 on both sides. In fact, it's very confusing to see how they could have got k equal 20. They may have just cancelled the 10. Again, this is another mistake here. So that's the two mistakes that they've made. Now for the compare and explanation part, this is what you could have written. The pupil has not expressed the first sentence in the correct form mathematically first sentence I'm talking about is this one here. That has not been expressed mathematically correct. 
And then the second mistake, as we touch on, is this. To find the k value, they would have needed to divide by 10 on both sides, but they've just simply eliminated the 10 on both on the right hand side and haven't done anything to the left hand side. So that's the two mistakes that they have made. Okay? Moving on to R2. Now, this is very similar to the concept work that we've do, we done on C1, C2 on the very first video. How do we decide whether a table of values is proportional or non proportional? We came up with the sentence uh, at the end of the C2, two variables are proportional if they increase or decrease at the same rate. If that number that you multiply by them is constant. In other words, a number that consistently works for all of the values. So let's look at three examples and decide whether they are proportional or not. So X values here and Y values, how do I get from 1 to 15, what could I multiply? Multiply by 15, okay. Now let's decide for the second set of values if we multiply by 15 or not. How do I get from 2 to 30? Yeah, multiply by 15 again. So, so far so good. Let's look at the last one. How do I get from 3 to 45? Yeah, multiply by 15 again. So this is proportional. Let's look at the second example. Again, got the x values on top and the y values at the bottom. How could I go? What rate? How could I get from 1 to 6? I multiply by 6, okay. Now, if I multiply by 6 here, let's try multiply by 6 and let's see if we get the same answer as we got at the bottom, 30. That's correct. If I multiply by 6, 30, it works again. Now, for the third one, 9 multiplied by 6 is not equal to 55 so it doesn't work now 12 multiplied by 6 yeah it works and 5 mod 15 multiplied by 6 it doesn't work so therefore this is not proportional final example here's the number of trips the first row represents the number of trips undertaken and then the second represents the number of miles. So how do I get, once again, from the first number to the bottom number? What is the rate? Multiply by 12. Okay, let's check if the rate would stay the same throughout. So if I multiply by 12 here, 4 multiplied by 12. Yes, it does give 48. It works. 6 multiplied by 12. Yes, 72. It works. 10 multiplied by 12. Once again, it works. 13 multiplied by 12 once again it works so therefore this is proportional as well this is the end of the reasoning video we should now be able to answer the questions